Philadelphia bit, I heard. That was pretty funny. That was actually hilarious. But here we go. Winners, quarters. Nick C, the two-time champion, looking to try to make a turkey. Trying to make a three-peat here. Yeah, honestly. That's uh, pretty rare. As you know. We have yet to have that in Ultimate. We yeah. have not had a three-peat in Smash Ultimate and, at Xeno. And even in Smash 4, it was still It was rare. rare. Dill rare. got it. <laughs> well, yeah, Dill just Dill like, and kill Sage, I think, were like the only ones. Yeah. I don't did Sage ever get a 3P? He had like the most wins. But, I like, feel like he got a 3P. Yeah, 3Ps were still hella hard, as yeah. you know. But again, we have not. This will be the very first one we've ever had in New York City. Yeah. So, Nixie on track to do it. He's got a couple more wins in order to get that. You know, VV is no slouch. They do play against each other a lot at uh, Smash Fest. They play in the Nixie's office or at the Kill Sage's apartment. So they definitely know each other inside and out. I know Nixie tends to win the friendlies a lot against Vivi. I, I, Vivi gets insanely frustrated playing against Nixie, as do a lot of players, because well, of Nixie's playstyle is incredibly unorthodox. But we'll see how this turns out. It's, it's pretty even so far. As long as you're tied in stocks, Lucario is not losing, based entirely on the uh, aura alone. The more, pr oh my god, he went for, he, that, was, that was pretty greedy on Vivi's part. He went for a hard read with that counter. But because it whiffed, it just gave Nixie a free punish, forward smash, just hit him with the backhand. Now the aura on uh, Lucario, able to build based on how much damage you have and what the stock disparity is as well. So because Vivi is down to stock, his aura can build a little bit more. Doesn't even need the aura though for that kill. Aura giving more damage, more knockback. There's eventually a time where Lucario can kill you at like 50%, even lower. So you gotta be on the warehouse, especially when he has a move like a command grab. So it's, it's, it's unsafe to like hold shield right in front of him. There we go. Nixie's got him without his resources. That's why VB opted to go for an air dodge. He recognized he didn't have his double jump. And he just wanted to get down to the ground ASAP. That seems to be a lot of players' strategies. It's just trying to touch home base to recover their double jump. A good evasion from Nick, recognizing there's going to be projectiles out here. Don't want to be running into those. Got him off stage. Him with a narrow one. No follow up. Good techies from Nick. If we just fell down on the ground, it would have been a, sl a nice forward smash coming up from BB. But again, he's got a lot of that aura build. He can easily just outrun the aura ball. Good techies. What? Nice, nice techies. Nice te that, that's the Nick C going out, man. <laughs> oh, yeah, that is. He says way. techies a lot, so whenever I see him playing, I, ca I can't help myself. Back air, has him off stage again, 156. BB trying to stall, goes to the air dodge. Honestly, if Lucario goes for an up at this point, it could be, he goes, he shoots off like a rocket son. Like he's going to space. And what doesn't kill him makes him stronger. Both Rage and Aura are gonna be like, a threat. Nick sees that kill percent. At 75. There's just one projectile, one back air, one command grab away from being sent flying. Just gonna go for the gentleman's. Not enough to get the kill just yet. Drifting away to get the, avoid the follow up. That was an insanely good catch from Nick, but it's still not enough. To get the kill, tries to go for the down air on the two frame, 186% on Vivi. Looking to close it out with his back here. Try to set him up with a nair one into forward smash, but Nick fell out of it. Nick's coming back in. Vivi's got to reset that aura a bit. Nick's playing it safe. Going for a lot of jabs. Never, uh, very rarely goes for the rapid jab either. Always wants to go for the gentleman's. Gets the Nair one into, oh, he was waiting for an air dodge so badly. VV called him out, went for a back air instead to prevent Nick from making him explode. Again, trying to play safe with these back airs. Playing from a distance and just applying shield pressure against his foe. Good zone break from Nick. Again, tries to go for the down air that would, that would kill Lucario. He manages to catch that. But the timing's really tricky, especially the higher percent BB gets. Melee just goes for the ground that time around, but the pressure from off stage, this ledge pressure is insane. Finally finds his way back, but just goes to the left side instead. This entire match is just Nick just pushing him off with like the softest baby hit every single time. And just forcing the situation again and again. Okay, that was a Hail Mary up B. Again, maybe trying to set him up for a combo with that down air, but it's just not working out for him. Big punish? Oh. Okay, he's at 68%. Charger of the ball gets caught by the back air, and that's going to be Nick C taking away game number one.
In this race, to two, the first to two, man. Yeah, crank that. Thank you, Dark Blues. Thank you, Dark Blues. For those that don't know that are outside the loop, Dark Blues likes to blast that victory theme on his uh, boom box that he brings his, you know, every time Mixie wins a game. So that the opponent hears it especially. He, like, he likes to put it right next to his, no, I'm just kidding, but like, it's pretty loud. So now, in a good old fashion, Devin has to like crank it every single time. Every time. Every time. There's never not not a single time. It'll probably happen at a uh, Suplex City as well. Except Nick's not going to Suplex City. He's not, dude. He's he's got wrestling tickets. He's going to a different wrestling show. That's what I'm saying. Apparently, his brother invited him, so it's like whatever. So if you guys want to see Nick's at Suplex City, blame his brother. All right, here we go. Pokemon Stadium 2 yet again. Game number two, VV's counter pick. Notice the lacking commit there from VV. Often just go for a dash dance just to see how Nick C would react. A lot of the times you'll see people like not commit. That killed? Was that sus DI? I'm so confused what that was. He kind of just fell into the blast zone. You know, stock number two. Good setup from BB. And catching that air dodge. Oh, that was slick. If that would have came into the back air, that would have been sick. Again, good pressure. Catches the ledge jump with a back air of his own, responding in kind as we're going to jump into stock number two. More up air action coming up from Nick. Baits out the air dodge. Didn't go in the direction he wanted it to. Kind of flubbed it afterwards. But there's definitely a pause to wait to see how BB would react. Another down air. BB trying to like way bounce away. Oh, that how Gig's gonna cost him. It's gonna cost him 30. And again, trying to follow up the air dodge, but just didn't get close enough. More back air action. Catch the ledge jump once more. The back air going off super deep to catch it. Gets the uh, Falcon dive. But uh, and on the trade off, BB gets back center stage. And as I say that. Ooh, try to catch it with the down air yet again. Ca connects the up air. Recognizing that VV actually wanted to get down to the ground as fast as possible like he's been doing previously. Nixie saw it coming, just threw out an up air just to catch him. Get the kill. More forward air action coming out from VV. All this damage. Again, and because Nixie's putting on the pressure there with all that damage and just playing aggressive, because VV ran out of double jumps again. I'll be on the lookout. Nice call out, recognizing he was going to go for a double jump to get back to the stage, recovering super high. BB opts to match him, connects his own back air, brings him to a third stock situation. Another call out on the air dodge. Nick C's been calling out these air dodges. That's the third time I've seen it this game, and he whiffs the punish. Okay, now he's just, he's just swinging. He's honestly just swinging away for this roll to get back onto the stage. Waits for the get up attack. Up air catches the air dot, and you know that was sus DI because there was no like zoom in. Honestly, at that point, at that point, I feel like Vivi didn't recognize that he was gonna kill there. Because look at this, there, there was no zoom in, no nothing. Honestly, that first up air that killed, it probably just caught him off guard. Let's see exactly how he DI'd, shall we? I didn't see it. Did you? I don't think he DI'd at all. You think there was zero DI? There was no oh, DI. Oh, there it is. Wait. Yeah, there, it's pointing like out. He held out. Oh, yeah, he did. Oh, God. Yeah. Well, well, I mean, them's the breaks, you know? Yeah. So, next seat, going to move on to winner's semis. You know, Lucario may have, BV's Lucario may have gotten hype over getting that uh, Ralphie win, but still taking a trip down to losers. Maybe there'll be some revenge going on down there. And uh, we're going to move on to our next set. This is going to be Dill.